Hey, what's going on guys? Derek here. Today I'm going to do a guitar tutorial for the song Sinners Like Me by Eric Church. I've seen a few of his new songs that he's been releasing lately, and I think he's coming out with a new album. So I'm a big Eric Church fan. He's one of my favorite country artists of all time, and this song for me is one of my favorite songs from him as well. So I thought it'd be cool if I watch a video of him playing it acoustically, like I do in a lot of my other videos, and try and show you guys how to play this song like he does in this video. So this video is from 2012 in Charleston, South Carolina, and uh, we'll see how it goes. So this is Sinners Like Me by Eric Church. I told you we were serious oh. today, man. Okay. So that was the verse right there, and what I can tell so far is the the song um, is in the key of C sharp or D flat, and his guitar he has the capo on the I think he has it let me go back and see where I can see it yeah he's got it on the sixth fret too so what you'll do is you'll be in standard tuning capo on the sixth fret and the chords for the verse so far were a C at nine a G this D sus and then this E minor seven I think he actually plays it just like this but either way is gonna sound really close to him. And the chord progression was that too. So the chord progression for the verse went C, G, D, back to G. Up until the part where he goes, He laughed so hard, my face turned green. So on that part, on that line, instead of going C, G, D, to G, you go C, G, D, E minor. And then when he goes, and he said, You come from a long line of sinners like me. Then you go back to the C, G, D, G. So let me just like kind of walk through that here real quick and I'll show you guys. G, D, G, C, G, D, C, G, D, E minor, G, C, G, C, G. So that's kind of the chord progression for the verse, because the second half of the verse follows that same progression. And... You could strum it. Something like that. So what I'm doing there is I'm going down, up, 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 down. And on the D major chord, and he does this a lot too in his playing, I'm hammering on to the third string on the second fret. So all together a little faster, it would sound something like this with the strumming. So that's kind of how it would sound if you wanted to strum it. What I think he's actually doing and what I kind of do when I play this song is some variation of that, but also I mix in some hybrid picking. So it sounds something like this with the kind of like the picking pattern. So basically what I'm doing there is I'm mixing in a little bit of strumming, but the main part of that is the picking. So like on the C major chord, what I'm doing is I'm going 
five four two four three. Then I go to the G and I do the same pattern in the right hand, but now instead of the fifth string, I go to the sixth string. So it's. And then on that D chord, I kind of do a single strum and I hammer on with my pointer finger onto the third string of the second fret. And then I hammer off of it too. And then I kind of repeat that. So. And then on that part where you go to the E minor, you kind of do the same thing. So it's six, six, four. So I'm going six, four, two, four, three. So that's kind of how I would play it, and I think that's pretty close to what he's doing in this video, but if you're not very familiar with hybrid picking, like I mentioned, you could just do kind of that simple strumming pattern, and it's gonna sound really close to that too. So now you are into the chorus. Sorry, this is the first, I gotta fast forward. But, so C, G, D, G. You don't have C, G, G, D, C, G, D, E minor. Now, of course, So for the chorus, it's a very similar chord progression to the verse. So if you go back here. C, G, D, E, e minor. C, G, D, G. So it goes, the chord progression for the chorus goes C, G, D, E minor, and then on the second time through, you go C, G, D, back to G. And you can do that picking pattern still, or you can do kind of that strumming pattern. So, you know, it sounds something like this with the strumming pattern. For the picking pattern, it would sound something like this. So either way sounds good. I honestly kind of would play it both ways. I really wouldn't, you know, when I play this acoustically, it's really just about feel, honestly. It's not, you know, tough for me sometimes to teach songs because they're not as robotic as like saying, hey, here's the strumming pattern and the picking pattern, and this is what you should do. A lot of times it's a feel thing. So I personally will mix it up with the, the strumming and the hybrid picking, depending on just like what I'm feeling. So either way you do it, it's gonna sound good, but just know that there's no one right way to play it. So let's keep going here. I miss concerts, man. Yeah, I know you heard. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> He's forgetting the lyrics. You can bet your ass to die when the doctor's smacked. Yes, he took a swing. 
That's funny, man. So for that verse, everything is the same as the first verse. So the chord progression, the strumming or the picking is all the same. So C, G, D, G. C, G, D. And one thing I forgot to mention too in the first part is that second time you go through it, you don't go to the G right away. You hang on that D. Then C, G, D, E minor. And I come from a long line of sinners like me. And then you end on the C, G, D to G. There's a lot of chord progressions in this in this song, but once you kind of get the pattern down, it does make a lot of sense. I remember learning this song years ago, and I would watch videos like this of him playing it, and I remember trying to to remember that chord progression was was difficult for me just because the changes are so quick. But once once you kind of memorize it and, and get it down, I promise it does get a lot easier. It's it's a lot harder on fir the first pass than it seems. So just be aware of that. So yeah, really the verse two is the same, and I think even the chorus coming up is going to be the same as the the first chorus. <laughs> So for this part right here, he's kind of playing it almost like a bridge. He's going E minor, G, D. And he's kind of just strumming it. So he's kind of doing that right, right there. Now I think he's going into the third verse. <laughs> I don't know if I've ever seen that specific video. That was so funny. So yeah, guys, to kind of recap quickly, standard tuning capo on the sixth fret. You're going to be playing key of G chord shapes. The chord progression for the verse went C, G, D, G. And then you do it again, C, G, D. But instead of going back to the G right away, you hang on that G for a little bit. And then you go C, G, D, E minor. I come from a long line of sinners like me. And then you go C, G, D, G. And then you repeat that whole thing again for the verse. So that repeats twice. And then in the choruses you go C, G, E minor, C, G, D, G, and 
that is the chorus chord progression. So I know there's a lot of changes there, like I mentioned, but as soon as you get them down and kind of start playing it with the words in front of you, it really does make a whole lot more sense. So let me know in the comment section below if you guys have any questions. I'll do my best to answer them. And let me know what other songs you think I should do uh, tutorials like this for. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.